but he left one final warning. 1984 is, I believe, a quite terrifying masterpiece. So terrifying, in fact, I don't think I should like to read another like it. I'm not absolutely dissatisfied with it. I think it is a good idea, but the execution would have been better if I had not been under the influence of TB when I wrote it. You once claimed that you have an ability to face unpleasant facts. Is that what you've demonstrated in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future? I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody, something like 1984 could actually happen. This is the direction the world is going in at the present time. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph and self-abasement. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. There will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you. So the Orwellian view of the vision of the future wasn't too far off based on this scenario. George Orwell was just like me. He was a low-level member of British intelligence. He was appointed to a position high enough where he saw the same documents that I saw. And he tried to warn the world just like I am trying to warn the world. Only he wasn't willing to take the risk that I'm willing to take. So he wrote it in a book called 1984 and spelled out exactly what's coming as a warning to the people of the world, as a work of fiction. But you notice that that work of fiction really stirred people up because they knew that it wasn't fiction. In their heart of hearts, everyone who's read that book knows that it's coming. It's a possibility. Most people won't recognize it overtly or publicly because then if they recognize it, they have to be responsible to do something about it. And that's what every one of you have been resisting all your life, is being responsible to do something about it, to get involved. That's why you walk away from a girl being raped on the street by a gang of thugs rather than go and try to help her. And I'm not talking to all of you. I know there's some of you out there just like me, but most of you are just exactly what I've just described. Most people are no better than animals who do not have intelligence because they don't use their intelligence. And to these men who control things behind the scenes, you are stakes on the table by choice and consent and will always be ruled and manipulated and enslaved by people who do use their brains. Right.